Um, we meet today on uh, unfortunate circumstances uh, in reference to a fatality accident that happened late last night. Um, at approximately 11.35 p.m. last night on August 6th, officers with the Galveston Police Department uh, were dispatched to a major accident at 33rd Street and Avenue R. Responding officers arrived and began their investigation. Witness accounts and accident reconstruction led investigators to believe the driver of the striking vehicle, which was a black Hyundai SUV, uh, was traveling eastbound on Avenue R and failed to stop, uh, striking a golf cart and a black Dodge pickup traveling southbound. The adult driver of the golf cart was pronounced deceased at the scene. An adult female passenger and two juveniles on the golf cart were transported to the University of Texas Medical Branch in Galveston uh, and later succumbed to their injuries. An additional adult passenger and juvenile passenger of the golf cart were also transported to the University of Texas Medical Branch and are currently in critical, uh, are currently in critical condition. The passenger and driver of the striking vehicle, which was a black Hyundai SUV, sustained minor injuries and were transported to the University of Texas Medical Branch in Galveston. And the driver was later arrested for four counts of intoxication manslaughter with a $100,000 bond for each charge. The suspect has been identified as Miguel Espinoza of Rosenberg, Texas, and is currently at the Galveston County Jail. Uh, currently, the names of the deceased are being withheld as we wait for confirmation the next of kin have been notified officially. Um, it, this is a terrible situation, and the Galveston Police Department uh, is very disturbed by this incident, and we keep the family in our hearts. That's correct. And there was a woman in the car as well with him. She's not facing any charges or? No, there is no criminal charges pending for the passenger of the vehicle. Gotcha. Do you know where the video is coming from? Uh, initially, no. I don't have the information in front of me. I apologize. So we are actually working hand in hand with TABC right now. They assisted us in this investigation and uh, I don't have that information in front of me, but I'm sure that's one of the follow-ups that we will do. Was everyone in the cart related and what were the issues? In, in the cart, yeah. the, the golf cart? Um, we believe it's two different families that were involved. Um, there is relation, of course. I don't have that information in front of me. Do you know the ages of those? I do, we're, we're not gonna release that just yet until we release the names officially. The golf cart was a rental. Uh, do you know if the victims were islanders or visitors? Uh, we do have that information, but we're not going to release it until we release the actual names and ages. Do you know if the golf cart had its lights on or was it kind of encroached on their end? I, I don't believe so. I don't have that information in front of me, though. You don't know or you don't believe the lights on? I don't believe I have that information. What is the status on the other two in the hospital? Uh, critical condition. Critical. Yes, sir. If, if we're talking about the two additional passengers of the golf car, they are in critical condition. Um, the two other passengers in the Dodge pickup truck sustained no injuries. So there were six people in the golf cart? Correct. Are the men charged? Uh, any additional charges or costs? Uh, we, there is additional charges pending at this time. Uh, we have, haven't had those approved just yet. Those charges would be intoxication assault. They are correct. They are in evidence right now. And just to get clarification, you said that they are all related and not necessarily two separate families? I believe the information provided to me was there's two separate families. Two separate families, but the four that were confirmed dead are a fam one of the families? I don't believe that's correct, no. Okay. I, th I think it's two separate families and there's deceased on, dif on both sides of each family, if that makes sense. So two separate families, does that mean in the golf cart together? Correct. Correct. You might have already said, but uh, what were the results of an initial sobriety test? Um, they were enough for us to determine that he was intoxicated and we charged him with the offense of intoxication manslaughter times four. Did the uh, uh, suspect receive a, a blood test? 
Uh, I believe a search warrant was conducted for uh, retrieving blood. Yes, sir. Correct, traveling eastbound. And the golf cart and the other vehicle? North and south. The and golf cart going south? Uh, I, have, I have that information right here. So the golf cart was traveling northbound on 33rd, and the Dodge pickup was traveling southbound on 33rd. Um, and north to south is controlled is not controlled by a stop sign. East to west is controlled by a stop sign. Uh, can you say if the suspect vehicle hit, was it like a one, two, three type of collision, or was it he hit both the, he hit the golf cart and the pickup kind of converging? Uh, can you explain how the actual so the suspect vehicle struck the truck and directly next to it was the golf cart passing in the opposite direction. Does that make sense? It was just uh, one, one crash, I guess, is the best way to describe it. So the, then, so the truck, truck being hit by the suspect vehicle then crashed into the golf cart. That is correct. From the moment, so the, it's basically kind of suddenly pushed into the golf That's cart. That's correct, yes, sir. So, so we enforce the municipality laws in Galveston in reference to golf carts. Um, we also have the marshal's office that assists us with that. Um, but if the vehicles are legally on the roadway, have all the, the proper equipment and stuff like that, they're allowed to be on the roadway. Okay, so there's not like, you guys don't go around to the officers, don't go around golf carts after sunset and get off the road? No, sir. No, sir. Uh, it was a rental, the best to my knowledge. Uh, no other questions right now. I introduce uh, Mayor Craig Brown. And Mayor, if you'd like to say anything. Yes, sir. Uh, I'm Craig Brown, Mayor of City Galveston here. Um, on behalf of the city, I want to extend our prayers and thoughts and prayers to the family and all individuals that were involved in this uh, accident. And I want to thank the Galveston Police Department for their efficient management of this uh, situation. Uh, we're a resort committee here, a community here in Galveston, and uh, golf carts have become quite a uh, prolific uh, mode of transportation here on the island for our residents and for our visitors here on the island. We enacted golf cart uh, ordinances here uh, about six to nine months ago to help control the uh, increased number of golf carts and uh, at our coming uh, city council meeting on August 11th, this coming Thursday, we will be visiting again and re-looking at the ordinances concerning golf carts. Thank you. Yes. We did. We passed rules on uh, golf carts. They have to be registered. They have to have a license plate, so forth and so on. Uh, but uh, we're seeing more and more golf carts on the island here that are on streets that they are not designed to be on because of the uh, speed limit. We're seeing uh, golf carts with too many people in the golf carts, uh, and they have to. Uh, and we're seeing numerous golf carts with children in the golf carts, no seat belts, and more individuals in the golf carts than they're designed to have. Um, so it's becoming quite a concern here on the island. Uh, we take the responsibility of providing a safe environment for all of our visitors here very seriously. And when we have situations like this, it causes us to take pause and to look at what else we can do to become, uh, provide a safer environment for all of our visitors. Rules currently, they have to have, theoretically, 
the uh, night, if they're driving at night, uh, obviously they have this reflector on the back. They have lights forward and backwards that yes, sir. highly visible. Uh, but if they're, let's say, uh, the number of people riding exceeds the what would be considered the standard safe passenger, do you, does the city have uh, any plans to try and reduce that? Well, possibly. Uh, I think the key too for our city here is uh, is enforcement of our curtain ordinances and to look at what else we can do to maybe expand the ordinances to provide uh, a safer environment for these golf carts. And I was out last night, the island was busy and there were golf carts, uh, residential as well as rental golf carts uh, out all over these streets. and. Uh, we just need to look closer at what we can do to help control the situation. Have you guys ever had discussions about drunk driving incidents on the island or about whether more intersections need more stop signs or lights? That is something I could refer to the, uh, to the Galveston Police Department on that. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Thank you, sir.